hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so probably the first exam which you are going to face before even before your csi net or gate exam is your is going to be your upsc geoscientist exam which is scheduled on 9th of february so in case if you have filled the form you are have to give this exam on 9th of february which will be before gate and technically before csi net exam okay so i am here going to talk about what are the things which you need to take care of especially i'll be talking about prelims exam because uh, I'll be telling you the importance of it in this video itself, but yeah, because the next exam is your prelims or the pre-exam for UP UPSC geoscientist. So that's what we are going to discuss. And I was getting a lot of uh, like requests from you guys in the comment section. So I just thought of covering this particular part as well. Okay. So before getting into the strategy and all those things, let me first of all tell you a few things about this exam. In case if you don't know about it, this UPSC geoscientist exam consists of three stages. Okay, Stage 1 is your prelims or pre-exam, stage 2 is your mains exam and stage 3 is your interview. Uh, stage 1 which is your prelims exam which is scheduled on 9th of February is, is will be conducted of 400 marks, it carries 400 marks. Then your mains exam will be somewhere in the month of July and the, the weightage for that part or the second stage is 600 marks and there is now the third stage which will be your interview which will be of 200 marks. In order to go to the next stage you have to qualify the previous stage. So you have to qualify prelims to go to the mains level and when you will qualify mains you will be asked for the interview. And your final merit will be made based upon the scores of all the three. So your prelims is not only the qualifying exam but also the score of prelims will be carried forward and your final merit list when the final merit list of the candidates will be made your marks of prelims mains and interview all will be added and you will be uh, like you will be having a score out of 1200 okay because 400 prelims 600 mains becomes 1000 and then 200 interview so total 1200 so your total marks or the final merit will be based on uh, your marks out of 1200 but again, I'm telling you in order to go to the next stage, you have to qualify the first uh, previous stage. So that means in order to go for mains, you have to qualify prelims. So that's that makes prelims very important exam. It is also a qualifying exam, which you have to qualify to go into the next stage. Also, you have to score good marks so that uh, that will be calculated or counted in the next or in the final merit. OK, so in both the cases, this prelims becomes super important exam. Now, prelims consist of two stages. Uh, papers okay paper one and paper two paper one is your general science or uh, like it is more of gk uh, or general awareness kind of paper and paper two is your subject related which is your chemistry okay now the weightage out of 400 in the prelims 100 marks is for your paper one which will include all these gk general science general awareness current affairs and all these things i'll be discussing about it in detail okay don't worry and then your paper two which will consist of chemistry but you have to when you will go for prelims exam you have to first give this paper one and then you will have a break or a gap of some time and then you will be having uh, you have to give paper two but when your marks will be checked so if you qualify paper one then only paper two will be checked okay so that means paper one also becomes a qualifying paper to be like so that your paper two will be checked so that's how your prelims will be done so that means here the importance of each and every part is there okay you can't just ignore any part of it okay so now that makes this gk part or gs part also important to qualify so that your chemistry part will be calculated okay so to dive into it or to go into the details let's first of all understand that how much you have to score out of 400 to qualify and so that you can qualify to the next stage that means you will be qualified for the uh, mains okay so the cutoff goes around 215 to 220 that's the average cutoff which has went in the last few years uh, it might it has also went to 227 so we can consider 230 to 240 out of 400 as the score which you have to get in your um, prelims exam okay so 230 to 40 marks is what uh, you have to score out of 400 in your prelims exam now uh, this 250 or 240 that you have to score from both you have to score some marks from part a or paper one basically and some from paper two okay so in order to qualify for paper one 30 40 marks is enough that means you have to score 30 or 40 marks from your general uh, gk paper okay or paper one which will be including all these topics of general science general awareness gk economics polity and all these things this 
पेपर विल कंसिस्ट ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन एंड मार्क्स इज ओनली हंड्रेड सो दैट मीन्स ईच क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ पॉइंट एट थ्री और पॉइंट एट फाइव मार्क्स ओके सो ईच क्वेश्चन इज लेस देन वन मार्क्स ओके एंड रिमेंबर दैट देर इज अ नेगेटिव मार्किंग ऑफ वन बाई थ्री ओके सो दैट मीन्स इफ यू डू लाइक इफ यू डू थ्री रॉन्ग क्वेश्चन सो वन करेक्ट क्वेश्चन विल बी वेल इन वैलिड ओके और इट विल बी हैविंग नेगेटिव मार्किंग इक्यू वैलेंट टू वन करेक्ट क्वेश्चन सो दैट आई थिंक दैट इज क्लियर टू यू ना ओके सो या लेट्स फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट पार्ट विच इज पेपर वन ओके सो द पेपर वन इंक्लूड्स certain very basic topics like it includes gk and in gk there will be topics like uh, like uh, general science first of all okay which includes basic understanding of physics chemistry uh, biology okay then comes your and the next topic will be your current affairs which includes everything which is happening in the last year 6 to 8 months okay so that's current affairs the third thing will be your history that will include majorly that will include ancient history or the modern history if you are not aware about ancient modern medieval history the history is divided in three parts basically modern history is uh, what happened when uh, during the britishers and uh, so that's that's what is your uh, modern history then you have medieval history uh, which includes the different uh, like kingdoms which we were having in our country and then ancient history includes the different civilization which we had so yeah history is the sec, uh, third part of it then you have polity polity includes your politics basically so it includes all the topics including your fundamental rights then um, things related to different uh, amendments or uh, your different uh, like uh, like different sections of your constitution then things related to your government okay how what are the rights of president rights of prime minister then things related to that how lok sabha works how uh, like uh, rajya sabha works how your legislative assembly works panchayati raj so all these things comes under your polity okay then comes your uh, geography so in under geography you have to study like because you are giving exam of uh, geological survey of india so it's important to understand or to have a basic knowledge of geography so these all are the different topics which you have in your paper 1 but out of these you will easily get around 30 to 40 questions from general science okay why i am telling all this because see you cannot be good at gk especially i am talking about chemistry student because our major focus is on chemistry and we have been studying chemistry and unless and until you are preparing for some civil services exam or some other exam apart from chemistry your general science or gk is, is like is not that good okay we have just the average gk so for that sake uh, you just have to focus on certain regions okay for example you can focus on general science which includes physics chemistry and biology especially till 10th class okay so basic phenomena like how rainbow is formed and uh, like related to things related to cells cell organelles biodiversity so related to these things can be asked from there and if you study your uh, like physics chemistry and math uh, sorry physics chemistry and biology of uh, class 10th or till class 10th that will be sufficient to qualify or that will be sufficient to solve such questions okay i will highly recommend you to download previous year's questions especially of general science part and try to solve them okay that will give you a lot of idea that what type of questions are asked in exam except current affairs the other part will be useful for you okay so yeah that you can do so this is one of the scoring part where you can score or and you will get around 30 to 40 questions from here so you can easily score around 25 to 30 marks from here okay that is your strong zone then you have to be good with your current affairs for current affairs you have to have a good knowledge of things happening right now in the country okay what are the things happening in the country what are the what are the new uh, laws which are being passed or what are the amendments which have been made or is there any uh, meeting which has happened recently so you have to be aware about those things for that you can either buy a you can either subscribe a weekly magazine okay there are a lot of weekly magazines which uh, especially your if you have any friend or senior who was preparing for uh, civil services they might help you in that case okay or you can follow youtube you can just search on uh, current affairs and there are many channels who are dedicated for civil services exam and they cover these parts very in very detail so i am not expert in that case so i will suggest you to follow someone who has been teaching this part or who has been covering this part or the channels which are doing that part okay in that case your things will be easy for you like visual uh, knowledge is always easier 
right to grab so that will be something which you can do in less time uh, the third thing which will be there will be again i said polity okay so you will like if you start reading it from books or if you start reading from some notes also it will be like too much for you to grab so it's easy again to follow certain videos certain channels you can just search upon uh, like you can just do a, a youtube search and you will get a lot of channels who are dedicatedly teaching for uh, civil services exam so you, you follow those channels who follow uh, who teach for or or if there is a channel for upsc geoscientist then well and good but uh, mostly those who are teaching for civil services they will cover these things in detail okay so you can um, do more of the part or most of the part from here and again with the part which i was telling about you that was uh, the general science part right which i said that you can follow um, like 10th class um, book for physics chemistry and um, biology part but that will be again too much for you to do that because uh, then you will not be able to focus more upon your chemistry part. Chemistry is the ma major part. You just have to score around 30, 40 marks from your general science so that you qualify and your chemistry can be checked. So do not give your major uh, focus on this particular part, but rather keep your uh, like um, your interest and your focus on the chemistry part. So for that, there is a book by Lucent. Okay, you can. Uh, either get a e copy of it or you can purchase uh, to a nearby stationery shop you will get a, a book by lucent which has general science so general science by lucent okay lucent l u c e n t that's the publisher na publisher name i guess yeah so you can purchase that particular book that will include all your general science so you don't have to uh, read class 10th book okay so that will be concise and uh, like concise knowledge and still you will be having why i'm focusing more on general science or gs part because that is something which you have already studied in your like in your 10th or like 9 10th class so that will be easy to grab okay instead of because see history geography those who are not much interested into it or those who have no uh, great command over these topics it becomes difficult for them to uh, cover everything in short time but gs is something which you can do so try to focus more on GS and then the other things which I suggested, just uh, search it on YouTube and follow certain YouTube channels who are teaching this in the uh, in the form of video. So there is a channel by uh, called Study IQ. You can follow that. That's a channel which which has been uh, teaching for the, these competitive exams. So you can follow that channel. But yeah, you have to do that part. Okay. But now comes your major scoring part, which is your chemistry. Okay. So now chemistry is of around 300 marks. And uh, the questions which you will see, uh, they are not that difficult. Okay, again, for the chemistry part, we have our own previous year's question uh, ebook. So we have launched our ebook already, and that's available on our website. Uh, you can purchase it from there. The link is there in the description. Of this video, you can make a purchase of this ebook from there. Uh, but yeah, that is ebook which will cover all the questions uh, starting from. UPSC Geoscientist 2020 and uh, 2020, 2021, 22, 23 and 24. So five years you will have all the questions, uh, previous years questions of UPSC Geoscientist, especially the chemistry part. There are certain there are certain questions of uh, uh, like part paper one also which is uh, solved over there, but major part is of chemistry again. So yeah, once you go through the previous year's question, that is first thing which you have to do. You have to cover previous year's question and see the level of questions which have been asked. You will find out that the questions are not that difficult. Okay, they are very easy, very basic question. Like they are literally asking the stability of carbocation or stability of carbon and something uh, which you can say that the question which you see in CSIR two marker question, something similar to that, but a little lower in the level. Okay, you cannot say that it is up to CSIR or gate level. They are literally easier than CSIR or gate. Okay, then if you are preparing for gate or CSIR, you must be already preparing most of the part of it. So it will be easy for you to uh, do questions from geoscientist because those questions are seriously of the lower level or the level of the questions are less as compared to gate or CSIR. So uh, if you want to prepare for uh, especially for this particular exam, if you just want to dedicatedly prepare for it, the first thing is to do previous year's question of geoscientist chemistry part then you can do previous year's question of CSIR net uh, which you must be doing because if you have filled CSIR net exam you must be doing that also then do previous year's question of gate that is again you must be doing because if you are if you are preparing for gate so all these three if you have done and if you still want more questions so you can even do questions of jam iit jam 
uh, previous year's questions of IIT jam uh, and also you can include uh, J E mains if you want to okay because the level of question is somewhere in between of uh, IIT uh, J E to IIT jam, uh, jam yeah so somewhere in between of that okay so the level of question is not that high level or they will not ask like multiple reaction mechanism type of thing easy level questions and uh, if you have done masters properly or if you have prepared for CSI net and gate exam you will see that the questions are actually easy the only thing will be because the questions are easy the chances of doing it wrong is become higher okay so try to score around um, like out of 300 try to score around 200 marks uh, because each question in this case again you will be having 120 questions uh, in the chemistry paper and each question will be of 2.5 marks because the overall paper is of 300 marks so 2.5 marks for each question so try to score around uh, like try to score around 200 marks or 220 marks so if you score around let's say 200 marks here and in the general aptitude or in the like in the general science part if you score 30 40 marks overall you will be easily getting 240 which will be more than the cutoff needed okay so that should be the way how you can approach so when you are making the strategy that's that's what you have to study okay i just told you that what you have to study now when you are preparing for it the first thing is to complete your syllabus syllabus is similar to csr net or gate then start doing a lot of practice so apart from doing practice of csr net and gate exam try to take out at least one hour or 30 minutes daily and try to do some questions of uh, like UPSC geoscientist. Now again, I'm telling that we have a ebook. The ebook contains all the previous year's question in the solved, like they have detailed solution of the questions. So you, you will have a guide over there. You will have, you will get to know that, okay, if you are doing certain question wrong, how it can be done correctly, okay? So that will be useful for you and you, you might get benefited with that. So this is how you can score uh, slightly good marks and you can get through the cutoff of UPSC pre and once you get through the cutoff then comes your mains and that we will discuss later on because I think if I start including the mains part and everything in this video that will be too long and that will be too much to digest okay so it's better to uh, prepare one step at a time right now it's the time to prepare for prelims right now it's the time to qualify prelims so try to apply these things, try to study these things, cover these things as early as possible. Try to do it along with your preparation of CSI net and gate exam. And uh, yeah, I know it's challenging because you have all the exams together and it becomes difficult, but it will be same for everyone. Okay, so that thing should be positive in your mind that if it is difficult for you, it will be difficult for everyone who is sitting for this exam. Okay. So yeah, that's it from my side for this particular video. I hope you guys got to know new things from this particular video. If you have any other question, I'll try to make more detailed videos on UPSC Geoscientist in the coming days. But uh, that's it from my side for this particular video. See you guys in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.